Moving on, uh, Salman Rushdie, the highly celebrated author who has a fatwa or a religious decree calling for his death issued against him, made a surprising appearance in New York yesterday after being away from the public eye for the past nine months. Yes, he has kept away from public appearances uh, ever since he was stabbed and seriously injured last year in August in New York State. An assailant had jumped on stage and stabbed him 10 times, causing Rushdie to lose sight in one eye and affecting one of his hands. Rushdie has been at home and is reportedly focusing on writing. But I also like being home writing a book, which is more important right now. Now Salman Rushdie chose the stage of Penn Awards to step back into the limelight. Set to give the night's final speech after accepting a special prize, the Penn Centenary Courage Award for his commitment to free expression, the author seemed happy to be back among friendly faces. This has been a long time since I've been here. <laughs> so, and I just thought it's a way of saying hello to everybody, you know, after a long time. So, yeah, it feels very nice to come step back into the world a little bit. And in a sort of a soft launch just a few days earlier, Salman Rushdie released a video message on winning a British Book Award, criticizing the limited freedom of speech in Western countries. Yeah, the freedom to publish, of course, is also the freedom to read. Um, and the freedom to write, the, the ability to write what you want, to have, to be able to choose what you want to read and not have it decided for you uh, externally. We live in a moment, I think, uh, at which freedom of expression, freedom to publish, has not in my lifetime been under such threat in the, in the countries of the West.